On today's show, we have a morning offering mug, an Our Lady of Chestahova icon, and a St. Rose of Lima book and DVD set for kids here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Welcome to EWTN Religious Catalog. I'm Emily LaSusa. Well, we are still basking in the summer sun here in Alabama and basking in the glow of this month, which is dedicated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So today, I have more items to show you in her honor. And later on, we'll talk about two other titles of Our Lady that will be celebrated this week. Seems like there's a great feast day for our Blessed Mother just about every week in August. I love it. We recently celebrated the Queenship of Mary on August the 22nd. And I want to show you this beautiful piece of artwork, The Coronation of the Virgin by Lorenzo Monaco. This beautiful giclée print is a replica of the original artwork. Christ and his mother, Mary, are seated on a throne. While Jesus places a crown on her head, Mary crosses her hands on her chest in a gesture of acceptance. This colorful piece is a perfect example of an early Renaissance painting. It was originally at the center of a large multi-paneled altarpiece painted by Lorenzo Monaco in the early 1400s for the monastery of San Benedetto in Florence, Italy. It has such striking colors, particularly the vibrant blue that Jesus is wearing. It's traditionally Mother Mary's color, so I love that Jesus seems to be all decked out in her honor here. It's framed in an antiqued gold wood frame with a finished back and wire hanger. It measures 18 and a half inches by 11 inches. It's so nice to carry a little reminder of Our Lady with you in the form of a holy card. The one I have for you here is perfect for remembering your consecration to her and your desire to entrust all things to her care. It's a laminated holy card, prayer to Our Lady. This prayer card features an image here of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And the prayer on the back of the card reads, My Queen, my Mother, I give thee all myself, and to show my devotion to thee, I consecrate to thee my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self. Wherefore, O loving Mother, as I am thine own, keep me, defend me as thy property and possession. I love that the simple prayer covers all our senses, everything that we ask our Blessed Mother to watch over. It's so beautiful to give ourselves over to her. She's been received into heaven as our queen, but she knows there's still so much work to be done here on earth. And she wants us to do it, to help her son draw all people to himself. It would be great to order a few extras of this holy card so you can share them with others as well. Our next item, is a gorgeous Immaculate Heart outdoor statue. We recently showed you the popular white version of this statue, so we thought we'd show you the gray version as well. It's 24 inches high and is designed to do double duty, either as an outdoor statue or also could be an indoor statue. The statue is molded from the original sculpture, then cast in durable polyvinyl resin. After that process, it's painted in a natural gray granite finish. As an important side note, the statue can only be shipped within the continental United States. And if you place her outdoors, be sure to have it at a spot that doesn't get too much sun. So ideally in temperatures that are below 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The same statue is also available in color as well. Here's a fun bracelet that will remind you not only of our Lord and his blessed mother, but a whole bunch of other saints as well. It's a brown wood picture bracelet. It's made from round and rectangle wood beads, which have been stained a dark brown. It's very lightweight and stretches to fit most wrists, even that of a child's, I think. The images are affixed right to the wooden beads and sealed in with a clear coat. There are many depictions of the Blessed Mother here, and some of the notable saints included are Saints Benedict, Rita, Therese, and Anthony. The saints on your bracelet may vary. We have lots of different ones, lots of different depictions of Our Lady and Our Lord. The bracelet's very affordable and would be a lovely gift, I think. 
Another lovely item to grace the walls of your home is this Immaculate Heart of Mary plaque. The image was painted by an American artist, Charles Bosserin Chambers, around the turn of the 20th century. Our Lady here is wearing a white gown and a white veil and a blue mantle. And she holds the mantle back so we can see her Immaculate Heart. On the background are words written in script, such as, O oh, Most Blessed Mother, Help All of Us, Holy Mother, Heart of Love, Ever Listening, Consoling. The plaque is made of wood and measures 11 by 14 inches and comes with a hanger on the back. And it comes from Italy, from the Benella Collection. We love to show you mugs, not only because they make such nice gifts, but it's something practical that we all use every day. And this mug is perfect for starting your day with that most important of prayers, the morning offering. So here's our Blessed Mother again, shown with her immaculate heart, just beautiful. This large 15 ounce ceramic mug is microwave and dishwasher safe, and it has the morning offering prayer on the reverse side, which reads, O Jesus, through the immaculate heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father, amen. Beautiful, again, what better way to start your day, whether you have coffee, hot chocolate, tea, this is perfect for you. We have another very nice bracelet to show you. It's a jujube wood cross bead rosary bracelet. It's a single decade rosary bracelet made of eight millimeter dark brown cross shaped beads separated by small crystal and gold spacer beads. The beads are strung on an elastic band and the oblong Our Father bead features a small laser cut cross on one side and the holy name of Jesus on the other. It stretches to fit about a four inch to a seven inch wrist. Easy on, easy off, so you can get a decade in whenever you can. I love that being dark wood with these very subtle sparkle accents. It goes with just about any outfit. And I can't help but think that it's a good way to get a rosary literally onto the hand of your kids or grandkids, even if they aren't Catholic. At first glance, the bracelet doesn't scream that this is a rosary, but it's very stylish and would appeal to anyone who has a love for the Lord. So it would make a perfect gift. St. Rose of Lima's feast day is August the 23rd. So we have a gift set to show you here, featuring two wonderful items for children. It's the St. Rose of Lima children's book and DVD set. It's a 30% savings by purchasing the book and the DVD together. The book in this bundle is St. Rose of Lima, the story of the first canonized saint of the Americas by the excellent author, Mary Fabian Wingate. Her books are favorites of mine from my childhood, and this story was a particular favorite. It tells of a girl named Rose who turned a part of her house into a hospital while she lived as a hermit in a little hut in her backyard. She died at only 31 years old, so she's a wonderful saint for a young person to read about and admire all that she did with her short years. And the DVD is My Catholic Family, St. Rose of Lima. In this half hour episode, Alex, Sarah, and Sergio set out on a river adventure in their new dinghy. They learn about St. Rose of Lima and her brave sacrifices to spread God's love. The DVD includes both English and Spanish audio tracks. Let's take a look. Visiting the sick is a beautiful work of charity. We should see Jesus in the sick. Listen, I'll tell you something. Saint Rose fitted out a room in her house so she could attend to the poor and the sick of Lima. People stood in line outside her door. Rose, dear, you can't turn the house into a hospital. There are people everywhere. When we work to help the poor and the sick, we serve Jesus. We should never tire of helping others because we can see Jesus in them. Rose became the first canonized saint in South America. And with a name like that, it's no surprise that she's a patron saint of gardeners. 
A garden is a beautiful place to turn our thoughts to God and to thank him for his work of creation. We know that Rose used her backyard in a radical way to live a life dedicated to his service. In a small way, we can incorporate reminders of our faith into our yards. Maybe you have a porch swing or a little outdoor bench where you can create a little space of prayer and reflection. Add the outdoor statue of Our Lady that I showed you earlier in this show or the next beautiful item I have for you. Add those and you're all set. This classic angel garden statue is simply breathtaking. It's made of a resin stone mix and measures an impressive 46 and a half inches high. The pedestal that the angel stands on is beautifully ornate with gorgeous details. She stands on a cloud. You can just see the folds of her beautiful dress just rustle and again, beautifully soft in appearance. And she's holding a sweet little bird that has come to perch on her arm. Of course, I can't help but say she because the angel appears very beautifully feminine. As we know, though, uh, angels do not have genders, but I just think this one is so delicate, but also powerful in a beautiful way. The placement of her arms, the hair, and her wings just spread out. It would be a beautiful centerpiece for your yard, your garden, or for your parish's um, space as well. I do want to note that due to this large size, the statue only ships to the continental United States. Here's another garden-related item, perfect for anyone with a green thumb or people who at the very least appreciate a good garden. It's the book, A Catholic Gardener's Spiritual Almanac. This book offers gardeners spiritual resources and creative projects that connect a love of gardening with their Catholic faith. Margaret Reilly explores the riches of the Catholic spiritual tradition in conjunction with all things gardening. She includes meditations and scripture passages on a spiritual theme for each month, reflections on the liturgical seasons and feasts, and delightful stories of saints who have special relevance to gardening. There are also creative ideas for garden design, practical tips and techniques, a table of biblical plants, and more. So maybe you know someone who loves to spend time in their garden, or you're interested in making your yard a more beautiful and prayerful space. This would be the perfect book. It's a paperback and 288 pages, so it's easy to take along with you into the backyard or to a garden shop even, where you make some of the things that inspire you from these pages become a reality. My parents have undertaken recently to completely transform their backyard into a very special place for all of us to enjoy. They have new plants, new areas to relax. It's all very whimsical. And in the eyes of my little four-year-old, going exploring in their backyard is better than anything. My mom loves the line from the song, Joy to the World, where it says, let heaven and nature sing. All of the beauty that we see in nature truly sings of the glory of God. At the top of this show, I hinted at some feast days of Our Lady that are packed into this month. And one of those is Our Lady Health of the Sick. And goodness knows we need her intercession these days more than ever. We have a special holy card of Our Lady of Good Health for you next that's exclusive to EWTN. It's laminated and features an icon of Our Lady of Good Health on the front with a beautiful prayer on the back. The back reads, O oh Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of the Roman people, know what we need, and we're sure that you will provide so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Again, the beautiful front you see here the whole card measures two and three quarter inches by four and a half inches high. It's printed in the USA. We also have a Spanish version of this card available as well. 
So be sure to check out our website where you'll find even more beautiful holy cards in Spanish. We have for you next a 14 karat gold filled Our Lady of Perpetual Help pendant with chain. Our Blessed Mother, of course, is perfect to go to in times of any trial, whether that's a health crisis, but she's there to help us, perpetual health. Anytime we need her, she's there for us. This beautiful metal measures 3 eighths of an inch tall by a quarter inch wide. The chain is 18 inches in length and is a gold filled light curb chain with a lobster claw clasp. The back of the metal can also be personalized. We also have the same metal for you available in sterling silver. It has the same dimensions as the gold filled, 3 eighths of an inch by a quarter inch, and it's strung on a sterling silver light curb chain with lobster claw clasp. Both necklaces are a delicate heart shape depicting our Blessed Mother holding the infant Jesus on her lap. What more could we need? This title, Our Lady Health of the Sick, is a very ancient devotion. The next item I have to show you is a copy of an icon which dates back to the year 590. This Salus Populi Romani mosaic plaque is a Byzantine icon of the Blessed Virgin Mary holding the child Jesus. It's a copy of the highly venerated ancient image of Mary that hangs in the Basilica of St. Mary Major in Rome. The title Salus Populi Romani means Protectress and Health of the Roman People. The image is printed on gold foil with a beautiful shimmering look, has a mosaic background, and is mounted on a gold painted board with a metal hook for hanging. On the back of the plaque is the oldest known prayer to Our Lady, Subtuum Presidium, in both English and in Latin. The plaque measures approximately six inches high by four inches wide. Just stunning. It would look beautiful on your wall, especially where the light can catch it and you see these beautiful golden colors. We also have a holy card of the Salus Populi Romani image, another card designed exclusively for us at EWTN. It's laminated and features an image of, again, Salus Populi Romani, health of the Roman people on the front and a beautiful prayer on the back. It measures two and three quarter inches by four and a half inches. On the back of the card, it also references the popular tradition that this particular image was originally painted by St. Luke. That's a neat thought. And of course, it's so beautiful to think of Our Lady as the Holy Mother she is, at the bedside of her little ones who are sick. A selfless mother, we know, just gives and gives and gives without end. She wants nothing more than to be at the side of her children in need, and she would die for them. Our Lady is the most perfect mother and we can learn so much from her. Well, another holy mother whose feast day we celebrate this week is Saint Monica, the long suffering mother of Saint Augustine. We know Saint Augustine put his mother through some rough times as she worried and fretted over how far he was from God in the church. Maybe some of you watching this understand that grief. Well, here's a book that I think will give great comfort to you. It's St. Monica, The Power of a Mother's Love. It was written by Giovanni Falvo and translated by Matthew Sherry. Using extensive excerpts from the writings of St. Augustine, notably from his confessions, the author sheds new light on St. Monica's patience, sweetness, and unwavering determination. This mother never yielded in her efforts to see her beloved son reconciled to God, and she endured countless sacrifices and even health risks in her quest to help Augustine embrace the faith. St. Monica's quiet wisdom and courage, coupled with her earnest tears and prayers, bore fruit that she could only have dreamed of. It's a paperback edition and 142 pages. And if you're going to be a famous mother saint, what else could you ask for than to have your own child canonized as well with the feast day right next to your own? St. Augustine's feast day is August 28th, the day after his mother Monica's. We have a lovely copy of the Confessions of St. Augustine for you here. After the Bible and the Imitation of Christ, this is the most widely translated and highly esteemed book in Christian history. Held in esteem by Catholics and Protestants alike, this edition is translated by Reverend J. M. Laren, PhD, and is published in a more participatory reading and prayer experience. It's bound in an attractive maroon imitation leather cover 
with a ribbon page marker, beautiful pages. It's 448 pages, a must have for your library and to sit with and really learn from. What humility this great saint learned and what a great work he gave us, confessing his former errors and defending the faith. We'll finish up today by looking at some holy reminders of Our Lady of Chestahova, starting with this gorgeous Our Lady of Chestahova icon. This icon is decorated with a silver-plated brass cover with gorgeous 24 karat gold accents, hand-tooled and hand-painted. It measures 10 and a half inches by 12 and 3 quarter inches. This icon is very fittingly imported from Poland. This gorgeous icon of Our Lady of Czestochowa is so regal. I love the gold and the silver. They just stand out so beautifully. The crown of Our Blessed Mother and Jesus appears almost in royal robes with the beautiful silver outfit and gold detailing. The scroll work around the edges of the frame, just all of it is so beautiful and breathtaking and just seems just like the actual icon that you would see in Poland. This image of Our Lady is beloved around the world, thanks in great part to Pope St. John Paul II, who had a tremendous devotion to her. She's the patroness of Poland, and many miracles and cures are attributed to her intercession. Of course, we do have a holy card of this beautiful image. Our Lady of Czestochowa, this is a holy card with metal. It's laminated and features on the back a prayer to Our Lady of Czestochowa. Embedded in the holy card is a medal as well. The holy card measures approximately two inches by three and a half inches. Maybe you're like me and you collect new ornaments throughout the year to save up for next Christmas. Well, here's a beautiful way to remember Our Lady and her precious birthday boy, Jesus. It's an Our Lady of Czestochowa ornament. It's made of beautiful handcrafted blown glass embellished with glitter and gold, all the finery you can expect at Christmas. It features this lovely Polish Madonna on the front and the words Our Lady of Czestochowa on the back. The ornament measures four inches in diameter. Again, it's special to note that it's imported from Poland. A beautiful way to show your devotion to Our Lady under this title would be to wear the necklace I'll show you here. It's a sterling silver Our Lady of Czestochowa pendant with chain. This lovely shield-shaped metal measures one inch tall by three quarter inches wide. The chain is a sterling silver light curb chain with lobster claw clasp and is 18 inches long. The Polish words on the medal mean Queen of Poland, pray for us. The reverse of the medal features the white eagle, the national coat of arms of Poland. We also have this pendant available in gold. There are so many beautiful ways of depicting our Blessed Mother and Jesus, and there are gorgeous images of them that have come down to us through the centuries. I showed you many of them today. In fact, Mary has always been one of the major subjects in art throughout history. How blessed we are that she agreed to bear our Lord and that Jesus paved the way for us to have an, inher an inheritance in heaven. And one day, please God, we'll get to heaven and see all this glory with our own eyes. We'll see what painters, sculptors, artists, scholars, and saints have been trying to depict for all these centuries. I can't wait. Here's a recap of what we showed you today and information on how to order. We have the Coronation of the Virgin art piece, item number 91110 for $85. The laminated holy card of the Immaculate Heart of Mary is item number E24. 256 for 60 cents. The Immaculate Heart Outdoor Statue is item number 2465G for $88. The Brown Wood Picture Bracelet is item number BP06 for $6. The Immaculate Heart of Mary Wood Plaque is item number 49209 for $29. The morning offering mug is item number 15519 for $15. The jujube wood cross bead rosary bracelet is item number RBS3G 
for $12. The St. Rose of Lima children's book and DVD set is item number 1204K for $18.20. The classic angel garden statue is item number 27053 for $740. A Catholic Gardener Spiritual Almanac book is item number 4849 for $17.95. The Our Lady of Good Health Laminated Holy Card, item number HCL47B, is 60 cents. The 14 karat gold Our Lady of Perpetual Help Pendant with Chain, item number 5410G is $68.50. The Sterling Silver Our Lady of Perpetual Help Pendant with Chain is item number 5410S for $49. The Salus Populi Romani Mosaic Plaque is item number 6E916 for $7.50. The Salus Populi Romani Laminated Holy Card is item number HCL. 4090 for 60 cents. St. Monica, The Power of a Mother's Love book, item number 70994 is $17. The Confessions of St. Augustine book is item number 17319 for $14. The Our Lady of Chestahova icon is item number 56P for $300. The Our Lady of Chestahova Holy Card with Medal, item number HC584, is $3. The Our Lady of Chestahova Ornament is item number 1228 for $33. And the Sterling Silver Our Lady of Chestahova Pendant with Chain is item number 6094S for $67.50. To order your Holy Reminders, please visit EWTNRC.com. Our website is safe and secure. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Or you can give us a call at 1-800-854-6316. Call center hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. Remember to take advantage of our free standard shipping offer on all online orders over $75 by using the promo code FREE at checkout. If you missed any part of the show or would like to watch it again, go to EWTNRC.com, where the current show is always available. Here are the broadcast times for EWTN Religious Catalog. Let's keep expanding our faith and our devotion to our Lord and His Holy Mother. We at EWTN Religious Catalog are here to help you do just that. I'll see you next time.